Good morning, YouTube. We are here in Gyro World Astoria. Yes, I dragged my ass out nice and early to get some big ass gyro plates. I had the small, I'm full, I had enough beer, and I'm here with uh, the management of Gyro World, Costa. Costa, please tell us a little bit about uh, Gyro World, what you're known for, what you do, and uh, describe that plate that I, we just had. How are you doing guys? My name is Costa. I'm one of the co-owners of uh, Gyro World. It's me, my brother, and my father that started the business. My father started the first restaurant in about 2005 in the location in Flushing, in Bayside. Um, after being successful in growing the business and extending actually the restaurant we first had, we decided to open a second location in Ridgewood on Fresh Pond Road in Madison. And as we were going, we, you know, we created a uh, created the gyro world culture and what we're about and our food and we are here to give everybody fresh fresh ingredients a lot of food and and give good uh how are you gonna cut this out oh <laughs> god no oh you oh i forgot to tell you there's no editing this nice. is a one shot clips Very so good. keep the cursing Sorry, down guys, to a minimum nervous. so after their second location don't we... be nervous sweetie this isn't my first time <laughs> i'm trying to not to be gentle with you thank you so after a second location, about four years after that, we decided to open Gyro World Astoria. There it is. It is our third location, but our second largest, seating about 100 people with the outdoor seating. Um, it is a different, different clientele. However, we brought Greece to where Greece needs to be in Astoria. Um, my friend over here was talking about the Gyro World plate that uh, that was served to him. Pretty much. It is our famous platter. It has about seven different meats in it. The large weighs about seven pounds, and it's a great platter to have with friends, beer, a movie, a game, whatever you want to do with it. Um, if your girlfriend's talking too much, get her one. It'll shut her up for about a good two hours. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. One thing I did want to talk about, we actually were talking about it together inside, was um, the reality and what gyro actually is. Gyro is the physical piece of meat that's on the spit, turning, getting shaved off, put into the pita bread with the tzatziki tomato and the onions. It is not meat in a sandwich. That's not gyro. Gyro is meat that's getting carved off the spit into your pita bread. That's why we like to make sure that everyone, when they order, gyro or chicken souvlaki they know what they're talking about so we're trying to bring back the traditional name is it a gyro or yairo or a hero okay. <laughs> i'm trying American to get in gyro greek gyro. Ah, gyro all right all right think of the g with a y instead of a g-o-y just like uh yeah. in, like in spanish the y the y and the j's yeah. And the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah pretty yeah, much all right yeah. so guys they're, we're all saying it the right way, unless you're drunk and you're, you're slurring your words. French fries in your gyros or no French fries? Or that's just personal preference. Complete personal preference. The only advice I do give when you do give the front, when you put the French fries in the sandwich, you lose a lot of the taste from the meat. You're losing a lot of taste from the meat. Yeah. Without the French fries and without the onions, actually, that's when you're really getting the the core meat. All the, yeah, all the ingredients. You're tasting every ingredient in there. So. Another weird question. Should people just try it without the sauce first, then add sauce to taste? A lot of people come to us and they ask us if, they, if we have the uh, sauce. Pretty much sauce is a thing they've done in Greece. It's a new thing pretty much. They've taken ketchup, mayo, mustard, they mixed it with a little lemon zest in it, and uh, they put on all the gyros now. Me, however, I'm from Thessaloniki in Greece. We still do it the traditional way, tzatziki sauce. Tzatziki, at the end of the day, it's literally made for it to combine perfectly with the ingredients from the gyro. I would always have with the tzatziki. What's your tzatziki recipe? Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> Yogurt. Spill. Cucumber. A little garlic. And the rest is... Uh, you want, you're going to have to kill us? All right, guys. Uh, he's being hostile. He, he's pulled out a knife. He pulled, he pulled out a knife. I'll see you on the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe and follow. Thank you, guys.